Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you a really cool product and that's Colour Changing Lip Gloss. Now these products are fantastic when you're creating a mood concept because they actually change on the skin, on the lips, as you moisten them with your own saliva. Let me show you just how dramatic the impact result can be. So here is our starting lip gloss. As you can see, it looks pretty clear and pretty ordinary. But watch what happens when we neutralize it. And this would be done just by licking the lips with saliva. Wow! Let me show you how we make it. Now this entire concept is built on bromo acid colorants. So I'm going to show you what happens. This is just water and I'm using water simply because it's a really easy medium to demonstrate this with. So I'm just going to add some of the colorant. And you can see this is what's made that really beautiful and strong pink I just showed you. So I'm just going to put it into water first. Water of course with a pH that is neutral around 7 and you'll see it started to turn the solution a light pink. But if I acidify this water now, you'll see it turns back to a very neutral colour. So this is the exact concept we use when we're creating the formula. We need to make sure it's a more acid environment. And then when a little bit of alkalizing solution is added, for instance, when we lick our lips with our saliva, which has a pH around seven, it turns bright pink. So let me show you how I've done this with the lip gloss. And you can, of course, get this formulation. Now first I've got my lipids in this beaker and I'm using polar esters because polar materials work best with the bromo acids. There are only three colours available but you can combine these with other FD&C colourants for different shades and you'll then get different colour changing effects from these materials especially when combined with other FD&C colorants that don't change color over time. You'll also notice while I'm preparing this sample and playing with these materials, I'm wearing gloves and that's because they stain the skin a lot. But they're really great because once they've stained the skin, they don't transfer to clothing or travel. So even though they provide really strong bold color that can stain the lips and that's very desirable, it won't spread to your clothing. And that's desirable too. So here's my esters. I'm heating these up uh, because I'm also going to add a consistency modifier so that I can increase the viscosity of my final gloss product. And this is the final gloss product we're making. So you can see it doesn't run off of the watch glass too readily, which makes it perfect for application to the lips. I'm now going to add some citric acid. Now it's really important that you add citric acid into the base formulation when making these products because we need the base product to be acidic so that it stays clear in its packaging. And now we're going to add that colorant. And it's going to take a little while to heat and dissolve fully. You'll know when it's heated sufficiently because it will appear clear. So this is how it looks the day you make it. If you do get larger particles in a batch production, you can filter out what doesn't fully dissolve. But heating it this way makes sure that it dissolves fully and has a nice acid medium so that it remains appearing clear until applied to the lips. And here is the same product the next day. 
So a couple of things that are really important when you're creating these formulas. You do need to introduce some acid into the formula so that it remains in an acid medium until it's applied to the skin or the lips. The other thing that's really important is to use polar lipids. This creates the most stable medium to remain clear over its shelf life. And then after that, it's simply use and enjoy. For a very bright and dramatic color changing effect, your consumers are really gonna wow about. Happy formulating.